Hello and welcome back. I'm Deirdre and if you caught yesterday's video you'll know that we're starting to do some little refreshing of our homes over the last few days of May and I'm starting right here. I know. I'll link the video up here if you haven't seen it and if you'd like to follow along subscribe come along for the ride and see what you think. I've been thinking about this off and on a little bit. I've been doing other things. I've been of course, I haven't just been sitting around in COVID. Of course, I've been, you know, knitting, cooking, doing a bit of this, a bit of that, lots of other things, a few jigsaw puzzles, lots of reading, um, but like the rest of us, I think. And, but I have been thinking about doing this because um, you get sort of habituated to the whole look of everything. And yes, I know it's the ponies. They have COVID hair. I have COVID hair. And it, the ponies will probably sneak straight back after I finish playing here today no promises but I can't really see them anywhere else the thing is that they're excellent here because they have um, it's it's a canvas and when you have an area where you have a lot of light coming in the way I do here then a canvas is excellent because you don't get the reflections from whatever glass plexi whatever you have over the top of it so that's why the ponies are so good here apart from the fact they fit the space um that's a really good spot for them my previous home they were over a, a fireplace and and that worked for them too because uh, it was against a brick wall it was a very nice change of texture and so you know they have lots of uses i'll see if i can see them anywhere else i'm going to try no promises but today i thought i'd mix it up a bit and i'll work on the principle of using uh, different textures I'll stay with my neutrals I'm not going to introduce a huge pop of color but um, I think that if you use neutrals natural materials glass works well with natural materials anything that is uh, it's going to change the texture the reflective surface of the the item these sorts of things are really uh, they all go very well together but they stop this is a day later, Deirdre, rudely interrupting past Deirdre. And yes, just to give you a bit of a hint, wait to the end. There are five takes on this. Five, not four. Anyway, wait to the end, then you'll see it. Let's get into it. I'm going to take everything off the top, give it a quick clean, I'm going to mend that lampshade and then I'm going to get into these cupboards, tidy them up, maybe find something in there that I want to use. If not, put things away where they should be and get on with it. So right now somewhere on this is, here it is, it's right around here. Can you see? This little one here so I've just got a cotton bud and um, and it's the good kind it's the kind that come from Muji and they're completely made of paper so they biodegrade very easily and I thought I'd just try with just some really basic household crafting glue I thought I'd just get some a little bit on that cotton bud and see if it's enough to very gently tack it back into place. Let's use the other end. Oh, let's see if that holds. Might put a little bit on the base as well to strengthen that. But it's a really pretty lampshade and I have never seen another one. Now I'll just take these things off and some of them will go back on. Wow, it looks so empty. Step one will be to just give these lamps a bit of a clean. They really not bad I do clean them quite regularly because they collect a bit of dust and look so nice when they're fresh
these have been tidied out. A few things have gone on other places. I mean, there were things there that should have been with Christmas. All the Christmas things, so they've now been moved, but this is just the things that I use on not an everyday basis, but certainly an every month basis. Now for the top. Goodness, look at that. It's rather bare, isn't it? Must be time to put something back on it again. I haven't seen it like that since I moved in. And there it is for now. That's a big change. It's very light. A little hint of black and some greenery with some gold. And I'll just pop some books there in front of that mirror. And in the corner I put the fiddle leaf thief that's been shunted around a little recently, but hmm, I think I mean I don't know whether I'm going to leave it. Maybe it's too light. Maybe it needs more grounding. I ended up putting up putting uh, the chairs back because they grounded it a little better and but I'm quite liking the lightness of the mirror just for a, just for a change just for a while nice to know that these are tidy and then you know everything is within easy reach which is good up here I've just used some greenery repaired that light. Simple things really. I've used a tiny bit of gold and a couple of darker colours. Put some books in there. It's a change and it's remember it's play. Yes the boy's been helping. The point is to have a bit of fun to clean and tidy as you go along if you need to. And I think in the end, just get to know the things that you have around you. It's not the time for stressing about whether you keep something or don't keep something. Uh, in fact, I would almost recommend that you don't because it's such a strange time. Basically, it's probably one of those times when we can just say, it's okay, just wait. A bit of procrastination goes a long way. That's the fun. You take things you have, you don't go out and buy new because you can't and it's probably not a good idea anyway and you just play around with things a bit um, I can play around with that a lot more I haven't got the time at the moment and really it's not meant to be about getting it perfect this has been a fun little experiment I'm not totally in love with it I'll confess Well, I had to completely refill the end, didn't I? Because it's just a bit different from the way I left it. But, you know, this is what it's all about. It's about play. And the more you play with your home, your things, well, it's a good chance to give a quick clean and a tidy up, if nothing else. But it's also a way of deciding what your style is and what makes you happy. Now, in this case, I went round and round and round it. But the ponies had to come back. They just, they love being there. You know, they just like it. I like it. So, back they went. The mirror, 
maybe what I'm deciding is the mirror doesn't have a place. I've still got a couple of play ideas for that one too, but you know, we'll see in the end. Now the other thing was that you'll see I've added books and what was missing when I did take four was that was that element of personality of life something that made it specific to me and maybe I don't even maybe that's not even it maybe it's just it's a different texture it's a different reflective element all of those things that I was talking about I've stayed in palette stayed in the greys and and the whites and that helps but basically it's that it's adding another element that isn't um, uh, perhaps just a piece of decor. This is a useful thing, a thing that says something about me. And and that's something that we can all do. Maybe it's photographs for you. I'm not that keen on it. Um, I don't know why. I think I need to revisit that. That's something I can revisit. So you're getting the point, okay, that we play. And today I'm happy with this. It's clean, it's tidy, it's refreshed a little. So I hope that whatever you decide to do in your home, you have a bit of fun and uh, follow along if you'd like. Give me a thumbs up if this is the sort of video you like and I will see you in the next one. Bye.